Hey everyone, welcome to the channel Foxtrot Adventures. My name is Mike. And I'm Allison. We'd like to show you around our very first camper, the Grand Design uh, 2600RB. Uh, we started looking at campers in 2021. Uh, and we did a lot of research on it and uh, we were kind of all over the board as most people are to get started and uh, I was looking at uh, the Winnebago Micro Minis but Allison said no I need my space <laughs> she needs her space so um, yeah one of the things that uh, I was kind of struggling with is seeing that people buy smaller maybe and then they end up moving up anyway so I came around to uh, Allison's idea to, to get something a little bit bigger and we were looking essentially for the perfect uh, couples camper and uh, so the question for today is is do do we think it's the perfect uh, couples camper and, and it's 2023 now and and we picked this up in July of 2021 uh, it was a uh, 2022 uh, it came off the line a week after they stopped producing the the 2021s uh, but uh, the I don't think they made any changes uh, we don't have the uh, the new logo or anything like that okay we're up at the front here uh, this uh, 2600 RB came with two 20 pound propane tanks and we uh, we upgraded to two 30 pound propane tanks and as you can see I haven't upgraded my cover yet so there's a there's a little bit of a difference here uh, in, in what's getting covered and what's not. Uh, the Hensley Hitch is the uh, weight distribution system that we went with. It's probably one of the best ones on the market. Uh, if you do your research, uh, you probably find the same. Uh, I didn't want any, uh, <clears throat> any reason that this wouldn't work out for us and really we wanted to uh, take it uh, across this entire country so I wanted to make sure that we were going to be safe and, and that uh, the things that uh, we purchased the camper and the truck were, were going to be safe and, and everything was going to be good so I tried to uh, buy the best if I could so um, yeah that's pretty much it right up here at the front I just I got the standard uh, marine battery uh, for now uh, no solar or uh, was it battle born batteries or anything like that right now but uh, maybe down the road okay here we are on the driver's side front of the camper on each side we have a, a door each side of the front okay that door pops up it's magnetic so it just sticks to the top like that done on this side we have our control panel All right, as you can see our, our water hose is coming up here uh, underneath and, and into the hole provided for the hose and we have uh, a fresh water fill our fresh water tanks uh, I believe 52 gallons uh, and we have city water our battery on and off switches in here uh, I've got a couple of outlets in here and then I've got the uh, the cable in here as well this is a uh, through and through so I can see all the way through to the uh, the other side of the front end of this thing so which is nice I can reach things from from either side uh, there is a light on on the front end here of both sides you can set it for motion or just turn it on and off as you see fit uh, there's also a switch in here for a light for the for the front of the imagine I call it the party light so if you see that on the, the party's going on plenty of space in there okay, here we are at the back side of the camper um, we got uh, two gray tanks on this thing, uh, one for the kitchen, one for the bathroom, which I think is just phenomenal. And then we have the black tank, and they all come down the same tube and come out the same spot. There's, there's no setting up uh, multiple uh, sewer lines or anything like that. So uh, that I'm real happy about. And then you got an exterior light out here um, for early in the morning or late at night in, in case you're moving, moving out or, come, or coming in for that matter. Um, so and then your electrical hooks up, hookups on the back side here okay this is my favorite side of the camper <laughs> um, again we have our uh, storage door up in the front on this side as well and as you work your way along here um, there's an there's a quick connect LP for your your propane tanks uh, for your grill so I, I use this black stone and this table as my setup 
Um, it's very easy to hook up. Uh, I don't have to bring in an additional propane tank or anything like that. Uh, here I have some electrical outlets, uh, so the wife likes to do uh, buffalo chicken dip. Um, we can just hook that in right here in the little crock pot that can heat up right out here. Uh, you got a cable hook up here. Uh, your fresh water tanks here, you can fill up here also directly. Uh, and then also on the other side, which I showed you. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is kind of the, the front side here. Uh, we've got some uh, uh, lighting that comes across underneath the awning up here, blue lights. Uh, so that's very nice. And then uh, you can play music out here as well. We got two uh, marine grade speakers out here. Tell us what we got. This is our sticker map. And it shows all the places where we've been to. We get to put a sticker on it every time we go there. The rule is that we have to spend the night at least once in the camper together and we have to have an experience. Do you find that uh, having the, this map up here is motivation to continue? Of course. Although I feel like we should, maybe I'll change the rules. Maybe we have to spend two nights in a state. <laughs> Not halfway through you don't. But yeah. And then on the way back, we're gonna get that sticker, that sticker, and that sticker. All right, here we are just inside the camper. This is the uh, control panel here. This is Compass Connect. Uh, I can control most everything here from my phone if I want to. I really don't use the phone, uh, but we got our ceiling lights here, our exterior lights here, our water pump here, uh, our water heater, uh, gas and electric. Um, our slide in and out, our uh, awning in and out, so everything's controlled right here. Again, you can use your phone for a lot of this. Uh, they've got some nice storage in here. Uh, we just put a couple of things up in here. We got uh, uh, hooks up here, uh, three jackets or six, depending on how you use the hooks. Using a Level Mate Pro right now, uh, this is really nice for making sure the camp, uh, camper's level. And then down here we have some nice uh, storage for shoes. Here we are in the bathroom. This was a huge selling point for us. Uh, I'm about six foot one, uh, around 250 or so, so I'm a pretty big guy. And I can fit in the shower, I got plenty of room. Um, we got a nice little shower handle here, and and I can turn turn around and everything, not a problem. Nice little slider here. Um, now there's plenty of, of room in here. Also, we got the uh, um, toilet right here. Uh, so if you're using the toilet, uh, we we got plenty of plenty of room around here, and we got a nice little. Uh, what do they call these barn doors or something? Nice little sliders. We got plenty of storage space in here. Uh, typically, uh, we're just uh, putting some rolls of toilet paper in here. Oops. And uh, towels and uh, stuff like that. Uh, we do have a towel rack right here, but we put our spares in over here. I got a nice vent up here that you can't see probably, but uh, um, I just uh, turned that on up here and that helps uh, with the steam and everything. And over here we have plenty of space too. So uh, we've got a, a lot of lot of cabinet space. So we're we're out for two weeks right now, and and this is all space that we're just not using. Um, so we have plenty of space. Um, hot cold water, obviously, a little sink, a lot of space over here. Um, a lot of space under here. Uh, some space in this drawer here, and underneath here uh, is our our water heater um, that runs on both gas and electric so if you want to heat it up really quick you can turn on both the gas and electric otherwise if you're willing to wait just a little bit uh, the electric will get it heated up pretty quick okay so we really like these chairs these are super comfortable chairs um, there's two of them here they got the, a cup holder here a cup holder here a cup holder here uh, they got a button here to heat the chair up uh, we got a, a button for blue lights as you can see uh, and then and then we get a little massage button now that's we're not real fancy people but uh, it does come come in handy um, also if I pull this whole thing here I can recline uh, and go all the way back so these chairs are really nice and comfortable uh, we're very happy with them uh, and underneath here we put our remotes for the uh, television so 
we, we do really like this uh, and a very comfortable and big, big selling point for us. Also, uh, there's a couple of USB plugins here. So while we're sitting here watching TV or just relaxing, we can, we can charge our cell phones or whatever else we need to charge. Okay, so this is our dining room area. Allison and I really enjoy sitting here and just kind of hanging out and having dinner and, and uh, doing whatever we got to do on the interwebs on our computers and stuff. Underneath here we have uh, a couple of storage bins. We put our uh, table games underneath here and then over here uh, we have the same uh, amount of space also and we just put some uh, some different things like a fan and, and broom and, and dustpan and stuff like that there. Now this table will drop down and what you do is you, you take these uh, uh, from each side and we can make this into a bed uh, It's uh, It'll do it's not like super comfortable or nothing But uh, if you have any kids or anything or maybe the dog wants to kind of have a little bit of uh, his or her own uh, That might be an option for you, but these are kind of neat, you know on this side you have a plaid design so so you can go with the plaid or you can go with the, uh, the uh, tan leather look um, but uh, we do really enjoy it. And then behind on this side is also, uh, uh, what do they call those uh, for your feet? Loofahs or? Oh. Yeah. Ottoman. Ottoman, yeah. So there's an ottoman on the other side of this. So you, could, you can actually pull this table out a little bit. And you can have uh, people can sit on that side of the table if you pull this out a little bit. But that ottoman will come out and you can use that ottoman out here. It's storage too. Yeah, it's got some really cool storage space in there. I don't think we have anything in there right now, but we used to put a bunch of stuff in there. So it just gives you options and we like having options. So, Okay, here we are in the kitchen. So um, we got some extra counter space here with this. This, this pops up like this. Uh, we do use this quite a bit. And I can just put it down like that. Uh, we got a huge sink here. Uh, this thing's pretty nice right here. This just kind of lays across the top. Uh, so we can fold it in half and we can put dishes on top to dry and stuff like that. But uh, it's real nice. We do enjoy that. Uh, got a nice maker here. Love, love ice. Uh, good storage under here. Uh, Good storage in here. We, we typically uh, will put our pots and pans and bigger things like that in here. Um, in here we got some towels and stuff. And then up here is our silverware. Definitely good space. Uh, if we come up here, um, oh, there goes my instant coffee. You can see all the stuff we got in here for a two week trip. <laughs> um, Decent space, really. Uh, so up here we're going to do, uh, in our little bins, we got silverware and our plates and stuff like that. So uh, if we have company, we got paper plates and, and stuff, and, and we got nicer stuff as well. Also, um, over here uh, we have a gas stove. Uh, this turns on here. Um, this lights up blue, so if this is actually on the gas stove, it'll, it'll be a red ring so that we don't forget to turn it off. Uh, there's three burners on here, and then we got our oven down here. Now, it's not super big, but hey, you know, if you want like a little frozen pizza or something, uh, that works out well for us. Uh, at our range here, we got a light, we got a fan. Uh, speaking of fans, I got this one going right now. Uh, we have a vent up here, a vent in the bathroom. And then we have a vent also in the bedroom, which we'll show you in a minute. Um, up here, you see a speaker. Uh, we got a couple of speakers in here uh, that uh, kind of go with our TV. So uh, not only is there noise coming from the TV, but we can we can use the internal speakers as well. So uh, let me turn this fan off real quick. We got a little storage space above the microwave here. Uh, this is where you kind of throw our paper towels. And then, of course, uh, we've got a microwave for uh, popcorn and, and warming things up. Okay, so our refrigerator's right here. Uh, up top, we got our freezer. Um, down below, we got our refrigerator. There's there's plenty of space. It does an adequate job of, of keeping things frozen and, and chilled. Down here, uh, there is a rack in here for five bottles of uh, wine. So that comes in kind of handy. 
Uh, the one below here has kind of two two dishes for like a dog or something, but uh, uh, we don't use it for that. Um, but uh, those are options for you if you want. Here's the uh, television set. So this television set's kind of nice. It actually pops out and we can angle it uh, any which way we want. So if we're over at the uh, dining room table having dinner, uh, we can angle the TV that way. And then you can just push it in and it locks. Below that here, um, we got our Jensen CD player. So you can do a lot of stuff with this. Bluetooth, um, if you got a DVD player, it'll play that. Uh, Bluetooth, you're gonna have to have an extra uh, thing for that. So we got a blue or uh, Blu-ray player in there. Uh, but there's all kinds of space in here for that. Uh, so your entertainment options are pretty good. This, uh, this stereo system plays inside and outside at the same time if you want, or you can shut uh, either or both of them off. The storage space in here is pretty awesome. Typically, we'll put, um, you know, like our, our chips and, and water and extra sodas or, or what have you in here and these things. Um, again, we're on a two-week trip right now, so you can see it's it's being used. Uh, we'll put, uh, put our bread items kind of in this drawer here, uh, buns and stuff. And then in this drawer over here, uh, I got some some uh, red potatoes and things like that. So this is a good storage space. Down here is your fuse box. Um, you just pop that and then you can get access to your fuse box here. And then over here, uh, just a little, little cubby here. Uh, we'll put uh, our owner's manual, uh, anything related to that in here and then uh, our spare fuses. So this uh, storage over here in the entertainment center is, is uh, pretty good. We're really happy with uh, the, the amount of storage space that we have. Okay, this is the bedroom. Uh, we got a queen size bed in here. We did replace the original mattress that came with it. Uh, we got a, was this a fluffy down? Down feather. Down feather topper. Top, topper. Super nice. Uh, each side's got uh, a window and a window shade. Above me here we have a vent. Uh, right now I've got one of these in here. This is an aftermarket thing that we added. Uh, keeps the sun out uh, and uh, in the colder months it uh, keeps the heat in. So it's kind of nice uh, when uh, we're not using it we just kind of shove this up in there. Uh, the storage in here is pretty good. So on each side we have a, uh, a big overhead bin here. Uh, I'll put uh, stuff like a backpack and, and things like that in here. Over to the right here I have uh, a hanger in here so I'll just kind of hang my stuff in here. And there's two drawers below here which are pretty pretty good sized and then I got uh, a plug down here so I can plug stuff in. Also in the front, you probably can't really see it up in here, is a nice little cubby. And these cubbies have electrical outlets as well um, and USBs. Uh, right above each of the uh, uh, pillows here on the bedsides is, is a uh, white light or a blue light. Uh, so that's, uh, that's helpful at times. So same thing on, on each side. And I'm not going to pick up the, the mattress, but underneath we have storage and I think uh, we're keeping like extra comforters and blankets and change of sheets and stuff underneath there. Uh, so the bedrooms, uh, they're, they're adequate in the uh, 2600 RP. Okay, just like the uh, bathroom, we have these uh, uh, sliding barn type doors. Uh, they're secured by this right here. We definitely uh, want to make sure that we secure that door uh, right before we travel. Uh, but uh, it's really kind of nice. It just slides across like this so you can get some privacy if you need it. If somebody wants to stay up and watch TV and somebody wants to go to bed, you do have this. So uh, Right over here is the thermostat. Uh, same as any other, right? We've got air conditioning, heat, and, and a fan and stuff like that. So your control panel for that's right here. Okay, now that you've seen our uh, Grand Design 2600RB, uh, what do you think of it, Allison? 
I like it. Got my space. You got your space. You got my space. Uh, yeah, we've been uh, down to North Georgia from Ohio. Uh, we've been up to Niagara Falls in New York. Uh, we've been up to the Upper Peninsula in Michigan. And uh, we're as far west now as, as the uh, Badlands National Park. So we've had it out uh, any number of times. And, and so far, two thumbs up. Yeah, we're very happy with it. Uh, I'm glad that you talked me into uh, uh, going a little bit bigger. And uh, yeah, I, th I think it's perfect. It really is uh, the perfect couple's camper. And, and we have uh, two dogs, a German Shepherd and a Boxer. And, and we've taken both with us, not at the same time. That'd be too crazy. Yeah. Uh, but uh, one at a time. And uh, it, it works for us there as well. So uh, if you're looking for the perfect uh, couple's camper, I would recommend that you take a look at the Grand Design 2600 RB. It's uh, really met our needs. So we're real happy with it. And uh, uh, we'd like to take you along on some of our journeys. Uh, if you liked the video, if you found it helpful, please hit the, uh, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you have any questions or uh, about the 2600 RB, I know I missed probably quite a few Quite a few things that you might have questions about please feel free to leave us a comment and uh, we'll, we'll get right back with you and, and get you an answer if we can.